Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to implement XOR logic function using McClock Pitts neuron. This is the truth table for XOR logic function. X1 and X2 are the inputs, Y is the output. The output is high only when any one of the input is high. That is, uh, either X1 should be high or X2 should be high. In such cases, the output will be high in this case. Now, uh, we need to design uh, MP neuron in such a way that the MP neuron will fire the output only when these two conditions are satisfied. That is, uh, whenever x1 is 0, x2 is 1 or x1 is 1 and x2 is equal to 0, the neuron should fire in this case. We know that uh, MP neuron has no particular training algorithm. Uh, we need to do some analysis and uh, find the optimal weights so that uh, we can uh, uh, fire this particular output only when these two conditions are satisfied here. Also, XOR function cannot be uh, implemented with a simple logic function because it is a non-linearly separable uh, logic function. Hence, uh, we need to use this particular equation. Uh, that The equation is uh, y is equal to x1 x2 bar plus uh, x1 bar x2. Now, this particular x1 uh, this equation is divided into uh, something like this y is equal to z1 plus z2 where z1 is equal to x1 x2 bar z2 is equal to x1 bar x2 and y is equal to z1 or z2 in this case now we will try to implement uh, these three functions uh, individually and then uh, we will come up with uh, the final uh, implementation for xor logic function the final uh, neuron looks something like this x1 and x2 are the inputs z1 and z2 are the intermediate nodes and y is the output node here we have assigned some weights for each and every edge w11 w12 w21 and w22 are the weights with respect to input neurons v1 and v2 are the weights with respect to z1 and z2 respectively now we need to identify the optimal weights for these things and then uh, we need to identify the threshold value also we will start with the first function that is uh, z1 is equal to x1 x2 bar the truth table for this uh, function is uh, something like this whenever x1 is high and the negation of x2 that is uh, x2 should be 0 uh, the negation of 0 will become 1 here that is uh, x1 is 1 and x2 is 0 the output of uh, z1 will be high here that is what you can notice at this particular place now what we need to do is uh, we need to identify the weights as well as the threshold which will fire only when this condition is satisfied. Uh, we will take the initial weights as uh, 1 that is uh, w11 and uh, w21. These are the two weights coming towards this particular z1. So we will set them as uh, 1 in this case. And then we will try to find out the net input of this particular z1. The net input of z1 is computed in uh, for each of these particular cases. The first case is 0, 0. The weight is uh, 1 in this case. So, 0 multiplied by 1 plus 0 multiplied by 1 that is equal to 0 here. Similarly, 0, 1 is the next input. So, 0 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1 that is 1 in this case. 1, comma 0, 1 multiplied by 1 and then 0 multiplied by 1 that is again uh, 1 here. Finally, 1, 1, 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1 that is equal to 2 here. Now, if you look at this particular net inputs and uh, this particular uh, the uh, activation function, whenever the net input is greater than or equal to threshold, it will fire, otherwise it will not fire. Now, what should be the value of theta? If I consider the value of uh, theta is equal to 1, uh, it will fire in three conditions, three cases, because uh, this yn is greater than 1, this is also greater than 1 or equal to 1, this is also greater than equal to 1. So, it will fire in all three cases. But we are not expecting, we are expecting in only this condition it should fire. If I set the value is equal to 2, it will fire only in this particular case. So, that is also not expected. We are expecting the neuron to fire whenever the input is equal to 1, 0. So, this uh, w1 uh, w11 and w22 will not work here. So, we need to find the new weights. So, I will assign the new weight as uh, w11, this one is equal to 1, w21, that is this one is equal to minus 1. Again, I will find out the net uh, inputs here. Uh, the For each of the input, we need to find out the net input. 
the values are 0, minus 1, 1 and then 0 here. So this is a very simple process. You can uh, just follow the previous uh, slide. You will get to know how to find out these particular values. Now once you find these particular values, uh, the next question is to find the threshold value. Now what should be the threshold value so that it will fire only in this particular third case. That is whenever the x1 and x2 are 1 and 2, 1 and 0 respectively. Now uh, what should be the value, what is the value of this particular y in that is 1. So if I take the theta value is equal to 1, y in is 1, 1 is greater than equal to 1. So that is true. So it will fire here. What about other cases? Here y in is 0. So 0 is not greater than equal to uh, 1. So it will not fire here it will not fire minus 1 is not greater than equal to 1 so it will not fire here 0 is not greater than equal to 1 it will not fire but 1 is greater than equal to 1 it will fire here so that is what we are expecting so the theta value is equal to 1 and the weights are 1 and minus 1 in this case now coming back to the next one that is the uh, z2 is equal to x1 bar and x2 the truth table of this one is uh, like this the x1 should be equal to 0 because the negation of this will become 1 and x2 should be equal to 1 then only z2 is equal to 1 that is nothing but this case in remaining all cases it will be equal to 0 here again i will initialize the weights equal to 1 here the weight is w12 and w22 i will try to find out the z uh, net input to this particular z2 for each of these particular inputs these are four inputs so 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 that is uh, 0 here 0 into 1 1 into 1 that is 1 here 1 0 that is 1 into 1 plus 0 into uh, 1 that is equal to 1 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 that is equal to 2 here again we need to find out the value uh, the theta value that's a threshold value in such a way that it will fire only in this condition that is 0 comma 1 uh, for that reason uh, i will take this particular uh, activation function again if I consider the value of theta that is again is equal to 1 now uh, for this one it will not fire because 0 is not greater than or equal to 1 it will not fire but it will fire here 1 is greater than equal to 1 1 is greater than equal to 1 2 is greater than equal to 1 so it will fire in three cases if I take 2 again uh, 2 or anything so if I take 2 here what will happen is uh, 2 is greater than equal to 2 so it will fire in this case but it will not fire here it will not fire here it will not fire here so uh, these two things uh, will not work because we are expecting the neuron to fire at this place again we need to modify the weights here so i will go and do the modification w12 is set to minus 1 this one w22 is set to 1 here now i will try to find out the again the net inputs the first one is 0 second one is 1 third one is minus one and fourth one is zero so just uh, put these particular values uh, in the equation you will get the values here again what should be the value of theta if i take the value of theta is equal to one now if i take one here for this one zero is not greater than or equal to one it will not fire here one is greater than equal to one it will fire here minus one is not greater than equal to one it will not fire here zero is not greater than or equal to one here so it will not fire here and what we are expecting is we are expecting the neuron to fire at this particular place and it is doing the same so you can say that uh, the theta value should be equal to one and the weight should be equal to minus one and one in this case also coming back to the last function that is uh, y is equal to z1 or z2 we know that these are the x1 and x2 values z1 and z2 we have already calculated in the previous case and then uh, y is equal to z1 or z2 so z1 or z2 means uh, if uh, z1 is any one of these two things is one uh, the output is one in this case the meaning of this one is uh, the neuron should fire in these two cases now what we'll do is uh, we will try to calculate the net input of this particular y if you want to calculate the net input of y we need to use the equation like uh, z1 v1 plus z2 v2 that is z1 v1 plus z2 v2 here so z1 we have already calculated z2 we have already calculated now we need to initialize the value of v1 and v2 let us say that the value of v1 and v2 is set to 1 in this case we try to calculate the net input of this particular y here again for each input that's the first input is what 0 0 for this particular 0 0 0 multiplied by 1 plus 0 multiplied by 1 that is 0 here second one is 0 1 so for this particular 0 1 0 multiplied by 1 plus 0 1 multiplied by 1 that is equal to 1 third one is what 
one zero. For this particular one zero, one multiplied by one plus zero multiplied by one, we got one here. Final one is zero 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 multiplied by one plus zero multiplied by one. That is equal to again what in this case? Sorry, zero in this case. So uh, we got this particular net inputs to this particular y. Again, we have to make a decision. What should be the value of theta? Whether these particular weights will work or not? Now again, consider the theta value is equal to. Let us assume that zero. If I consider, what will happen is uh, zero is greater than equal to zero. It will fire here. One is greater than equal to zero. It will fire here. One is greater than equal to zero. It will fire here. Zero is greater than equal to zero. It will fire here. So zero will not work. I will try one. Zero is not greater than equal to one. So it will not fire here. One is greater than equal to one. It will fire here. One is greater than equal to one. It will fire here. Zero is greater than equal to one. Uh, zero is not greater than equal to one. So it will not fire here. So it will fire only in these two cases. That is zero one and one zero. That is what we are expecting. Whenever it is zero one and one zero, it should fire here. The same thing is happening. So you can say that the final theta value is equal to one, and the weights are equal to one in this case. So we have found the value of W11 that is one, and W12 is equal to minus one. W21 is equal to minus one again. W21 is equal to one here. Similarly, V1 is equal to one. V2 is equal to one here. This is how actually the final uh, XOR uh, logic function looks like with the help of uh, Maclock uh, Pitts neuron in this case. In this video, I have discussed. how can we implement uh, xor function with the help of uh, maclock uh, pitts neuron with a very simple numerical example i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching